My last little video I shared with you guys was how to get unstuck more on a flat kind of surface. Now we're on a slope. We're going to use gravity as our friend to get unstuck. We're going to be using the flip technique. So right now, my sled's pointed a little bit more to the left. I'm going to want to flip my sled towards the left because it's going to be a little easier than pushing it uphill. Right now, I've got a big wall of snow that's kind of on my whole left-hand side here. So I'm going to work on flattening it all down first just so nothing's in the way. So my next step here is I'm going to try to refit over to the left-hand side and see if it'll go. If not, then i got a bit more digging to do. Alright, it's moving, but I can tell it's just not enough for me to get it over on its side. So I'm going to dig out the back of my track a bit more. Another little tip here is I'm trying to get the sled up and over to the left. On the right hand side, there's a big wall of hard snow. So that's what's preventing my track to easily get out. So now we've liberated all the snow. I'm gonna give it one more pull and see if she goes over. The easiest way is to get that foot on the running board as leverage. One hand on the mountain bar, one hand on the handlebar. One, two, three. All right. She is done. So right now, I'm under my snowmobile downhill. I want to go on the uphill so my snowmobile doesn't flip up and over me. So now that it's kind of pretty much on its side, my easiest leverage is to get under the ski, lift with my legs and not my back. I might want to push the upper ski just a little bit more so I'm not stressing my back as much. Now this ski is nice and up out of the snow, I'm going to get down low, lift it up and over. Now this sled's completely on its uh, upside down. All I need to do is give it one more little push and I'm either going to get lucky, it's going to go right back down the skis, or it's going to continue flipping downhill. One note to take is only do this when the snow is soft. If it's hard, you may bend your handlebars. Another little thing to keep in touch and tune is when all your handlebars start coming out of the snow, not just be there standing on all the gauges and the, and the uh, throttle and the brake because you could break it. And we just gotta push it a little bit more. Now we're talking. Now when I'm ready to go, all I'm going to do is I'm going to lift up my handlebars, take all of the snow out of the throttle, get on the uphill running board, give it a little throttle, point the skis downhill, and I'm out. Tip number two, how to get unstuck. Enjoy, guys.